Hi, I'm Justin Mohammed, Chairperson of Nacho. Aboriginal Community Control Health Organisations are a very important part of our health for our people across this nation. And here are some of the experts, our members that are in the field who'll tell you why. Community control health and community control services are grounded in community themselves um, and certainly one of the things that, that differentiates us from other service providers and other health service deliverers is that we actually do practice what we call comprehensive primary health care and that's not just about seeing patients and seeing numbers when they walk in the door but about looking at the person as a whole, looking at the family as a whole and looking at the community as a whole and what are the things that we need to do to change in, in our services that are going to support not only building the capacity of an individual, but the family and the community. That's very much been grounded in community control services from since day dot, since, since it started 40 odd years ago, and that is something that still lives and breathes in community control services all across the country today. I've been in the community control industry now for over 10 years, and so I think it, it's what really binds communities together, and I think if, if community can take ownership of things, and particularly things like your health, well, we're going to get better outcomes, because if people take ownership of stuff, they're more, more likely to put that uh, priority and emphasis on it as well. By far, by far, and there's actually international evidence and uh, data to prove this also, that working in a community controlled environment, having you know, the, the Aboriginal uh, and Torres Strait Islander people making decisions on their health and well-being uh, far outweighs government uh, made decisions and the health programs and services that are being implemented by government um, run clinics. We know what we want, we know what's best for our, our community knows what's best for themselves, they know what's best for their family. It's really important that you put control into their own hands and, and empower them to make their own decisions. If the community are on board because it was their ideas in the first instance, it's going to work because the community are going to come along to those events. At the moment, if you do the other way, and it's, we've all done it at some times, and it's all been inadvertently, we've taken control, we don't get the outcomes that we expected. Yeah, well, community controlled health is it is important to me because it's, it's the difference between mainstream and exactly that, community. That's why it's so important, because it's from the community, for the community. It's, 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 it's not a business. It's, as I said, it's like it's in our DNA. It's something that we wake up and we're proud to do. You get more out of it than knowing that it's a nine to five business-like attitude. And that's what I love about the community controlled sector. Because it's community controlled, it's grassroots, it's always stayed down on a grassroots level. We don't allow governments to ponder us or dictate to us because no, 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 that's not what the community wants. It's always about the community's need. Our people, are, it's really important that culturally they can meet, have a meeting place that they call their own. And services that are provided to them that they have control of and they're part of it. And that's what the true essence of community control is. If you lose that basis, you can have many different people working for the Aboriginal organisations. But you must, must ensure that non-Aboriginal people have respect for our culture and respect for who we are. Aboriginal health in Aboriginal hands, we are the experts. We know what we know. We've done it for 60,000 years. We know that people need to be looked after within a community. You don't look after the ailment, you look after the family, the member first, then the family, then the community. And we've been doing it for years and years. The old terminology from um, English is that it takes a village to raise a child. We do that every day. But we raise a community up together and we bring them along to make sure that they understand why we're here and that's why we've got youth delegation today. So now we get the youth to come in and say, well actually we're supporting Jason and their community because we're, we're, we want this, we want the best health outcomes for our Aboriginal people.